in this video, I'm going to share with you our upgraded homeschool workbook system. Hi everyone, this is Kat. Welcome to Homeschooling VNZ. In this channel, we share our homeschool journey, the materials that we use, and of course, the realities of homeschooling. So if you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can notify us of our new videos. What is the workbox system? So, this is a system that you organize your homeschool materials so that you can easily manage your homeschool pagmamanage ng homeschool sa bahay. So, I'm saying upgraded kasi uh, papakita ko sa inyo yung aming ginagamit na ngayon na homeschool workbox system and yung mga previous workbox system na ginamit ko. So, ito na sa left side. Ayan, yung very colorful drawers to. Ito na yung ginagamit namin na workbox system. And ito na sa right. Ito naman yung original na ginamit ko for our homeschool yung workbox system na ginagamit namin. So basically, sa workbox system, doon mo ilalagay yung mga materials na gagamitin ninyo for that particular day. Okay, so kunyari for um, science, mara kayong mga experiments. So doon mo ilalagay sa workbox system yung mga uh, gagamitin yung mga materials ninyo para mas magpadali na pagkampanan ninyo yung mga homeschool lessons and activities nyo for the day. So, I started with this one box. Yung ito, kaliit na box. Isa lang. Uh, Malikawak pa. Noong um, 2016, uh, I just used one box for our workbox system. Kasi four subjects lang naman yung kindergarten. At isa pa lang yung tinuturuan ko. So, for the day, nilalagay ko dito sa box na to yung mga uh, books or workbooks or worksheets or any materials that we will use for an activity for the day at uh, dito kinukuha ni kuya yung kanyang mga uh, gamit so minsan may mga lessons and activities na hindi naman kailangan na nakatutok ako so pwede niyang kunin on his own yung materials dito so i-unlock lang naman niya dito para mas madali so ngayon hindi ko na siya yung gamit Um, lalagyan na siya na yan ng kitchen. Lalagyan na siya ng mga laruan ng mga bata na nilalagyan ko sila na yung table. Now, nung naging uh, grade school na siya, nag-upgrade naman ako dito sa um, five drawer na workbox system. So, this is from Mega Box, uh, I think 500 pesos or 550 ang bili ko dito sa SM before. So, um, kasi we would be do two to three subjects in a day. So, pagdating ng grade school, um, kaya meron siyang, ayan, tatlong drawer. Dito ko nilalagay yung mga uh, gagamitin niya for the day. So, sa na lang mismo yung nagpubukas nung drawers, titignan niyo ka na mga books na gagamitin niya. And then I have written dun sa aming whiteboard kung ano yung mga pages na answer niya or babasahin niya. Ayan, so meron siyang sariling tatlong, fold, tatlong drawer and then dun sa pinakababa naman is for ate. Ayan, so ngayon, um, ginagamit namin ito, lalagyan ng mga papers like yung mga scratch paper or meron sila mga artwork. Kaya pag binuksan mo, ayan, meron pa dito for ate. Ay, ito yung worksheet niya. Ito yun ang gamit niya ngayon. Ang uh, maganda talaga sa workbox system kasi natuturuan mo rin yung bata maging independent learner. So, bigyan mo lang siya ng instructions kung ano yung dapat niyang gawin. Tapos siya rin kukuha doon sa drawer ng mga gagamitin niya, gagagawin niya para sa araw na yun, at least uh, natututunan niya maging uh, independent and responsible para sa kanyang pag-aaral. And then this year, we will be using this 10 drawer workbox system. Sa totoo lang, maliit pa si, ano eh, si Kuya. Gusto ko na talaga magkaroon ng ganito. Pero kasi medyo pricey to. This is at least 2,000 pesos. Pinapagpaliban ko. Pero right now, dahil meron na kaming tatlong students, sabi ko, I really, really need this. For my own sanity sake. Saka, para mas mapanali yung buhay namin sa pag-homeschool namin. So, um, I have here on top. May hangar pa. I have here on top. Ito, may kanya-kanya silang 
uh, magazine holder. So, meron uh, silang clear book. Dito sa clear book, dito ko ilalagay yung kanilang mga, mga syllabus, yung mga curriculum nila. Uh, meron actually dito kay ate sa kay bunso. Meron na. Dito ako na. Kay ate na lang. Na kay ate. Ayan, so, meron na siya kindergarten learning standards and competencies. So, ginawa ko to before, nung kay kuya pa to, inayos ko yung nasa DepEd para mas madaling basahin. So, if you want to download that, uh, I'll just put the link to my blog sa description box. Gusto nyo i-download yan. And then, after that, I also have here um, preschool assessment form. Yes, yeah, so my evaluation key for my daughter. I don't want focus. Yeah, so right here, oh, I'm gaining self-confidence. Uh, am I developing na normally? Needs further development or concept not taught yet? Ito lang, uh, gamitin ko lang naman siya para ma-monitor ko ko. Ah, uh, <laughs> Kung meron pa ba ako na may miss out na kailangan niya malaman. So, this one, I got this from Confessions of a Homeschooler. Itong list na to. So, si Ibn So, meron rin siyang sarili sa kanya. Mostly yung ano niya. Um, since 3 years old pa lang naman siya. Ano lang yun. Pang monitor ko lang. And then, this one, this is where I will put yung mga printables na in advance. Tapos, ilalagay ko lang dito in preparation para ilalagay ko nila sa um, drawer kapag gagamitin na namin. So, here, oh, meron na siya nakaprint. At, uh, what day is it form? Yan, this is from iHomeschool naman. So, dito ko siya ilalagay. Yung kay ate. Parang kung may nag-print na ako, may na-print na ako na worksheets. Tapos, uh, kailangan na namin for that day. Lalabas ko na lang siya from the expanding folder or envelope. Ano ba to? Expanding folder and ilalagay ko na sa drawer. Aside from that, meron niya siyang clipboard. Ayan. Ang aming matandang clipboards na. Rami na sulat. Lagay ko ng washi tape kasi nagsira na yung mga gilid-gilid. So, each kid meron. Si Bunso, si ate, sa si kuya meron. So, you would see also na meron siyang um, expanding brown envelope here na yeah, craft uh, envelope. So, this is for their portfolio naman. Para hindi ako mahirapan na um, i-compile siya in the future. So, nakaready na lang siya para isasalpak na lang yun sa loob ng envelope. Kay Kuya, since mas marami siyang subjects, he's, he'll be taking nine subjects this year kasi may bago na may Helena. So, mas makapal yung kanyang expanding envelope para sa mga worksheets na gagawin ko. So, meron na ako na print. This is actually for the first day of homeschool. Kaya nakaready na siya dyan. Nagagamit siya namin. Kay Buso, meron din siya sarili. Pero, wala pa laman ko sir. He's just nursing. Just in case nung may maisip ako na gagawin for him, print ko na, lagay ko na dito. And yung sulit na kapag merong batang maliit sa bahay, gusto nila sumasali sa mga activities ng ate at kuya nila. So, I would suggest, um, kung uh, meron kayong malilit na bata, gawa niyo rin siya ng sarili niya para pag nag activity kayo no, sa mas malalaking mga kids niyo hindi siya magulo, so may sarili siya. Kahit alam niyo naman, hindi naman niya kailangan sundin yung mga ginagawang activities ng ate at kuya, pero basta meron siyang paper, nakatulad doon meron sa ate at kuya niya, okay na yun. mag enjoy na siya, tahimik na siya. <laughs> Yun yung gagawin niya. Uh, but else? Uh, ito, meron akong printed alphabet. Dito. Ayan. Tapan ko lang yun niya. And then numbers. Meron kami malaking version nito na nasa uh, isa pang table namin. And then, meron yun siya dun sa kalip. Sa shelf. And then, over here, ito, lalagyan lang siya ng whiteboard marker that I would use. Ayan, for my kids, V, si Z, isa ka si I. Later, I'll explain what these are. So, ito na yun. Uh, the 10 drawer work box system. So, dahil si Kuya meron siya 9 subjects, uh, yung 8 na drawers kanya, kasi pinag may pinagsama lang ang mga subjects. 
So we have here the core subjects, math, Filipino, English, science, social science. And then we have values, education, MAPE. And then pinagsama ko na lang Hele and computer. Nakalimutan ko may religion pa nga pala kami. So I'll guess I'll just include it lang dito sa values, education. And then sa baba would be for my two younger kids. Okay, buso. sa so, kay ate. Kasi gusto niya buso ng blue at gusto niya ate ng purple. So, yun. Sa kanila yun. So, sa ngayon, puro... <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Kahit daw to. Nilagay ng muso dyan. Ayan. May mga kanya-kanya sila nilalagay dito sa ngayon. Pero, for now lang yan. We have not officially started our homeschool year for... Uh, 2020, 2021, pero we homeschool all year round. So, right now, we are doing summer homeschool and um, si Kuya Tong talaga yung meron talaga yung ginagawa for summer homeschool. Kaya ate, paunti-unti kasi hindi pa talaga siya ready. So, ayaw naman namin siya biglaan. Pag ano na siya, pag nasa mood, sige, we give her activities. But mostly, read alouds lang kami with ate and good so. For Kuya, um, for written activities for the summer, he has his math and then Filipino. And then the rest is doing um, read alouds to his siblings and uh, reading one chapter, a book of uh, the Narnia series. Ayan, so ito Narnia series namin dito. Yung second book na siya. And then after he reads a chapter, he narrates back to me or to my husband what he has read so uh, we are incorporating more of the Charlotte Mason approach in our homeschool eclectic kami <laughs> we are, but we're adding more Charlotte Mason approach uh, we're just testing it out kung okay ba siya for us kasi kay Ate Z it might really work for her alright so eto na so nakasuot na mga subjects so ilalagay mo sa loob yung mga uh, activities nila for the day. For example, kay Kuya, so he has his multiplication facts he writes here. So, every day yan. And then, for Filipino, we are doing with the this summer. So, nire-ready ko na. Like, right now, naka-ready na dito yung kanyang talaan ng sagot. And then, kung ano yung babasahin niyang um, story, merong tong quiz. After Ayan, yeah, so nakaipit na yun dyan. So, yan yung gagawin niya mamaya. And then, I also placed here the uh, answer key. Ayan, yeah, hindi naman niya tinitingnan kagad yan yung answer key. Pero, I let him test his own work kasi. So, nakaready lang yung answer key dyan. Para pagtapos na siya, kukunin lang niya. And then, check niya kung tama yung sagot niya. So, after niya gamitin, yan, yeah, natapos niya ito, no, nasagot na niya, no? So, ang gagawin niya ngayon is... Pipili siya ngayon dito ng any character na gusto niya. So, uh, I made these. I-laminate ko lang sa 120 na microns. Laminating film. And then, we'll put these dito. Yan. So, may Velcro yan. So, ikakabit lang niya yan dito. So, I would know. Ay, Filipino pala so, I would know kung anong subject na yung natapos niya at hindi pa niya natatapos. O, ba? Para maging aware ka lang kung ano na yung natapos, hindi na natapos. Um, so, pag tapos na silang lahat, lahat ng subjects, sinalagay niya yan. So, this year, we'll probably do three subjects in a day pa rin. Uh, let's see. I haven't finalized yet our schedule. So, I'm still working on that. I'll keep you updated. Yan. So, maganda siya kasi na-encourage yung bata na maglagay dito. ba Yung iba, they like stickers or stamps kapag nakagawa sila ng certain activity. But uh, for our kids naman, una talaga gusto ko star or yung thumbs up sign. But then I realized, mas siguro, mas may entice sila kapag favorite character nila yung naka ilalagay nila. So, kaya ngayon, puro angry birds. Kasi so, yun yung character na nagkakasundo sila ng lahat. And especially si ate gusto niya to. Si Silver. These are from the Angry Birds movie. And so, I would, this work box system will really help. Especially yung mga merong multiple, ah, uh, madumi. <laughs> Possession na madumi. Lalipat sa ilalim ng table. 
um, multiple children, you're homeschooling multiple children, uh, this would encourage them to do independent learning and then for you na rin para mas madali yung organization for you kasi for that day or the night before or the week the weekend before pwede mo nang ilagay dito yung mga materials na gagamitin at least diba hindi ka na may hihirapan mag uh, madali kung ano ba yung gagawin yung activity at least kung nakaready na siya mas madali for you yung flow no homeschool niyo so, that's our work box, our homeschool work box system. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, share this with your friends. So, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!